Hello everyone, it's Yvette with Polished After 60. In today's video, I am sharing my all-time favorite subscription box, Margot Elena. I always tell the story, I'll probably tell it again. So if you wanna see what's in this lovely box, hold on, I'll be right back, hold on. All right, everyone, I'm back. I hope there's not a glare on my glasses. I'm hoping that I need to be able to see what's in this beautiful box. So um, I used to subscribe to a variety of different um, subscription boxes, but over the years, there are some that I have let, let go and others that I I'm not sure if they're doing subscription boxes. Curator was one of my favorites, but um, I just stopped getting them. I don't know. And when I go onto their website, it's a little bit crazy. But anyway, Margot Elena, I have been getting this for a while now. I don't think I'll um, stop anytime in the near future. I use these products and I gift these products as well. They're beautiful as you'll see when I open this box. So um, here's the box. It says number 24 and um, so pretty. These boxes are also, oh, I have Zoe here. I'm sorry. These boxes are also good if you want to um, store things in it. All right. So hold on. Let me go ahead and open it. Um, I did slit the bottom. Let's see where the bottom is. All right. It says she has arrived. Delight in autumn beauty always beautifully packaged. That's one of the things I love most about this box. And it's filled with um, beauty items, all right? So here it says number 24, Dancing Leaves. And this box has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in it, totaling a uh, retail value of $219.50. This box cost me about 60, I'm gonna say around $63 every quarter. And one of the reasons why I like this, let me go ahead and show you, it says the weight is over. One of the reasons I like this is that um, when my brother Joey was alive, these are the types of products that he would give me um, for the holidays, Easter, my birthdays. Um, I would always get something beautifully packaged that I think he knew that perhaps at that time when I was raising a family, I didn't have that extra money uh, that we sometimes need to gift ourselves these um these products that are beauty products that we use, right? So anyway, he always used to give me these. He was such a lovely, lovely soul. And if he's watching, hello, Joey, and I, I love you. And um, so this is just a reminder of my brother that I get every quarter. So what do you get in this box? All right, here it comes, nicely packaged. And let me go ahead and start opening this for you. So the first thing I see is by the Cottage Green house. It's a carrot and neroli. Let's see what this is. I think it's a hand cream. Rich shea butter hand cream. Beautifully packaged. These little tin um, containers that they come in. And I keep these types of things in my, um, in my uh, gift closet. Anything that I don't use, I will go ahead and gift. So it makes nice little additions to gifts during the holidays or birthdays. Plus it's a nice reminder of my brother and I use an awful lot of these products as well. So this is the first thing. They, uh, and that, let me see what, um, Mm, carrot and neroli hand cream has a value of $26, all right? They always send these cute little stationary cards, right? And um, this one says, you're a peach, go nuts, it's your birthday with a little squirrel, and the world is your oyster, how beautiful. I would love to give this to my granddaughter. Um, she might be a little too young for this, but maybe not. We need to encourage them all the time. So those little note cards have a value of $16.50. I don't think they have anything on the inside so you can write your own little inscription, if you will. Okay, this next, everything comes so beautifully packaged. And look, 
This is glass, so they have it doubly protected with the tissue paper and then the bubble wrap. And this is Infinity Sheet Vibrant uh, Happiness and Positivity Eau de Parfum. I always keep these. I love these. Oh, so, so beautiful. I can smell it. So beautiful. So let me go ahead and put this away and later I will change out some of my, some of the perfumes that I keep on my vanity because I change them out with the seasons. Do you guys do that as well? So the, da, 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 the Eau de Parfum is $48. All right. The next thing I see here is, let's open it up. So I can show you. I'm sorry for the noise, but that's part of the fun, right? Opening it up together again, wrap in bubble wrap by Tokyo Milk. And what is this? Tokyo Milk uh, Marquis de Posey Perfumed Luminary. So it's a little candle. I love, oh my God, that is, that is so nice. Citrus Zest rosewood mimosa and mandarin i love to keep these little um these little luminaries and i put them in my bedroom at night and i light them and they're so lovely i love candles i use them all the time when maggie was me um i had to use them a little bit more often um as some of you know she was very sick and i took care of her and um, as an aging dog, sometimes, you know, she would have a little accident here and there. That's okay. I loved her till the end. But anyway, the luminary is $20. As I said, I love candles. So I will possibly change out the one that I have here. When it goes out, I will add that one instead. All right. The next, did I tell you how much that was? Yes, I did. The next thing is from Tokyo Milk. I think this is a chapstick. Look how cute this is. This has a little um, dragonfly. I have a very good friend of mine. Linda, if you're watching, I love you. I just want you to know that. But um, she would say that the dragonfly reminded her of her brother who had also passed. So this would be very... Um, it would be a nice thing to gift her. So it's just a clear chapstick. Alrighty. And these are the kind of things that you can add to somebody's gift bag or box just to um, just to make it that that very much special. Alright, so the lip balm has a value of ten dollars. Okay, the next thing I see here, you see, it takes a little bit of time to open these things up, but they're so beautiful. Oh, it looks like we have another parfum. Oh my goodness, two in this box. Wow, I love their perfumes. I don't think I've gotten this one before, although pa the packaging does look familiar. It's number 68. Savage Bell, look at that. Their bottles are so pretty. They look so nice on your um, on your vanity. This has a little bit more seduction than the other one. The other one was a lighter and crisper uh, scent, if you will. I don't know that much about perfumes, but I know what I like, and I do like things that maybe this might have a little bit of amber in it, I'm thinking. Um, mm -hmm. Savage Belle Eau de Parfum, and this one is also $48. Very nice box, guys. I'm very pleased so far. I think I have two more items for you. I hope this is not running too long. No, it seems long, but I don't think it is that long. Alrighty, the next thing is by Lolia. It's a perfumed shower gel. You see what I mean? Who wouldn't like to get this in a gift box? It's just so beautifully packaged. I love this company so much. This, this is something I buy with my own money. I very seldom have, um, I don't have sponsored uh, videos. They might gift me items to review, but um, I'm not getting paid for this. So this is my opinion from my heart, just like all my other reviews are. I want you to know that. All right, so this shower gel by Lolia is $23. And then the last item, also looks like a 
shower gel or maybe, what is this? Sugar beet and blossom fine salt scrub. I love scrubs in the, in the bathroom, in the shower. I use them every other day um, to exfoliate the skin on my body because we don't, we have to take care of the skin on our face, ladies, but we also have to take care of the biggest organ that we have, which is our skin, right? So make sure you're exfoliating and you're moisturizing and that'll keep your skin nice and supple. And using these products that I get here from Mongo and Lena uh, just makes it a pleasure. Makes bath time and I'm preparing myself for night, for my night. I don't know if you guys um, have a similar routine, but I, you know, I take off, it's all a process. I take off my makeup. I go ahead and put on any serums that I have. I do the same thing with my skin. Go ahead and exfoliate after my shower. Moisturize very nicely before I go to bed. My feet, which is my problem area, I make sure I moisturize them every night so that they stay nice and soft but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i am looking around because i don't know where my clicker went and sometimes it doesn't matter because it has a mind of its own you all might know that right so guys i hope you enjoyed this video lady yaya if you are watching thank you so much for coming on to my channel and always um leaving me lovely comments the same goes for lisa with peaches skincare and so many other ladies that um that are just a blessing for me lady if you're watching you're included in that as is natalie so guys thank you all for stopping by have a wonderful day i'll see you again in a new video real soon bye let's see if this works bye and it doesn't bye nope